Hello, I'm Andy Sullivan. Today I'll show you how to easily start a wood-fired pottery kiln. The kiln is a Poplar Kilns Model 3. It runs on renewable wood pellet fuel for easy, convenient, and environmentally friendly firing, in addition to all the other benefits of wood firing. Additional details on the kiln are available at poplarkilns.com. There are only a few things you'll need to start the kiln. One is an ordinary extension cord. As with all outdoor electric use, the cord needs to have three prongs, and it needs to be plugged into a ground fault protected circuit. Ground fault protected circuits or outlets are required in garages and outdoors, so you should have one. Second, you'll need an open area to operate the kiln. Consistent with campfire guidelines, keep the kiln at least 10 feet from combustible materials including dry vegetation, wood, fuels, trash, and structures. Never operate the kiln unattended. Here I have the kiln placed in the center of our driveway, well away from the garage and anything else that could easily catch fire. The grass is watered so it doesn't qualify as dry vegetation, it's always moist. Charcoal and lighter fluid are required to light the kiln. Only three briquettes and an ounce of fluid are needed. A coffee can works well for applying the lighter fluid. A Dixie cup works well for measuring the fluid. You'll need wood pellets. They're commonly available at hardware stores, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, Tractor Supply, Big R. All sell them in 40 pound bags. They're about $4 a bag. You'll need at a minimum 50 pounds to run the kiln for a short fire. You'll probably want to have several bags around uh, just so you make sure you don't run out. You can go ahead and put the wood pellets right in the hopper. You will want to know how the kiln works before you fire it, so I recommend reviewing the operating manual section titled how the kiln works. The overview video will guide you through the material. Pottery kilns present their own hazards to your safety. Before starting, review the safety considerations section of the operating manual available at poplarkilns.com. Operating procedures are available in the operating manual. First, make sure the fan and the auger motor are turned off. Unplugging them is fine. Step two is to crush the charcoal briquettes into dime-sized pieces. A pair of pliers works better than a hammer. It makes a lot less mess. Next step is to add one ounce of lighter fluid. Easy way to measure that is to use a Dixie cup. This is a five ounce Dixie cup, so we'll fill it about one fifth full. And then soak that onto your charcoal briquettes that you sliced up, and then stir it around until all the fluid is absorbed into the charcoal briquette. And that's looking pretty good because there's no free liquid that I see in the can. So it's all been absorbed onto the charcoal briquettes. Step four is to place the briquette pieces that we dampened with lighter fluid on the kiln combustion chamber grate. Step five is to light the charcoal briquettes. And then step six is to close the kiln door. Step six is to start the main uh, fan 
at minimum air rate. I have it turned up to very high right now. I'm going to close the damper on the stack until that comes down to minimal. The next step is to start the wood at about 10% rate. We'll set the timer for one second on and nine seconds off to give us 10% rate. Use the peephole to verify good combustion. That's looking pretty good for just starting the kiln. I see flames. I can see the wood pellets bouncing into the combustion chamber periodically. Let the kiln warm up at 10% fuel rate for about a half an hour. Once the kiln has been running for about a half an hour, it's time to ramp the wood and the air rates up using the firing schedule. We will use a rapid firing program from the operating manual that simply calls for 40% wood and 0.15 air reading. Set the wood controller timer to 4 seconds on and 6 seconds off. We'll do that on the controller. We'll set the bottom knob, which is the amount of time the auger is on, to four seconds. We'll adjust that so that the red light is right here at four seconds. And we'll set the off time to six seconds. Right there. Next, I'll adjust the air damper until the air flow rate, as read by the meter on the hopper, is And that's looking good. This concludes the presentation. I hope you have found the video informative. If you would like more information or to contact us, please visit our website, poplarkilns.com. Poplar is spelled like the tree. Thank you.